Kyriarchy, pronounced, is in feminist theory, a social system or set of connecting social systems built around domination, oppression, and submission. The word was coined by Elizabeth Schussler Fiorenza in 1992 to describe her theory of interconnected, interacting, and self-extending systems of domination and submission, in which a single individual might be oppressed in some relationships and privileged in others. It is an intersectional extension of the idea of patriarchy beyond gender. Kyriarchy encompasses sexism, racism, speciesism, homophobia, classism, economic injustice, colonialism, militarism, ethnocentrism, anthropocentrism, and other forms of dominating hierarchies in which the subordination of one person or group to another is internalized and institutionalized. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The term was coined by Elizabeth Schussler Fiorenza in 1992 when she published her book but she said, Feminist Practices of Biblical Interpretation. It is derived from Greek, kyrios kyrios, Lord, Master, and Greek, arko arko, to lead, rule, govern. The word, kyriarchy, Greek, kyriarchia kyriarchia, a valid Greek formation, though it is not found in ancient Greek can now be used to mean, sovereignty, i.e. the rulership of a sovereign. Usage The term was originally developed in the context of feminist theological discourse, and has been used in some other areas of academia as a non-gender-based descriptor of systems of power, as opposed to patriarchy. It is also widely used outside of scholarly contexts. Structural positions Schussler Fiorenza describes interdependent stratifications of gender, race, class, religion, heterosexualism, and age as structural positions assigned at birth. She suggests that people inhabit several positions, and that positions with privilege become nodal points through which other positions are experienced. For example, in a context where gender is the primary privileged position e.g., patriarchy, gender becomes the nodal point through which sexuality, race, and class are experienced. In a context where class is the primary privileged position i.e., classism, gender and race are experienced through class dynamics. Fiorenza stresses that kyriarchy is not a hierarchical system as it does not focus on one point of domination. Instead it is described as a complex pyramidal system with those on the bottom of the pyramid experiencing the full power of kyriarchal oppression. The kyriarchy is recognized as the status quo and therefore its oppressive structures may not be recognized. To maintain this system, kyriarchy relies on the creation of a servant class, race, gender, or people. The position of this class is reinforced through education, socialization, and brute violence and mailstream rationalization. Taradkalns suggests that these structures of oppression are self-sustained by internalized oppression, those with relative power tend to remain in power, while those without tend to remain disenfranchised. Structures of oppression also amplify and feed into each other. See also References <references> 